Welcome back, folks, to the Big Trip 21, day 19. <laughs> and here we are inside the coach. Welcome to the Big Whip, folks. Uh, we, uh, we thought we'd give you a tour. Karen's going to do her thing here in a second. Um, but we just want to quickly start with, it was amazing to see Pueblo and Claudia Heckart today. Drove two hours from their place uh, to come hang out with us for a little bit outside, social distance, and uh, and did get a quick quick tour inside. So again, Pablo and Claudia, they made my heart smile today. So a lot of love, a lot of love. All the comments are about what's this thing look like. So here it is, uh, 2021 Newmar, all right, Ventana, uh, 4311, means that uh, 43 feet long, and the 11 is the, the crippled model. And, uh, and obviously when Karen starts showing you some different things, you'll see. Uh, but that's sort of where we're at. We're parked. The pop-outs are out. And we're, uh, we're just sort of chilling. We leave tomorrow uh, to our next uh, destination. But uh, definitely living life inside the big whip and digging it. You take it, boo-boo. All right. So we got the kitchen. Self-explanatory. Midship is the lift for Todd's departure. And across from it, we have the refrigerator, full size, and a washer and dryer laundry room. Go through the pass through bathroom with the vanity and the roll in shower. Very nicely done. Ready to go anymore? It's a uh, the same size or bigger than most roll-in showers that we've experienced in hotels. Hey, Todd. Hey. And then in the back is the master bedroom. Queen size bed, sleep number, compartments, and storage in the back. Right now we're using a Hoyer until we can get a ceiling lift installed and the ceiling has been structurally designed to accommodate the installation of a ceiling lift. So right now, Todd parks right where I'm standing. So he parks his chair at the foot of the bed. We use the Hoyer then to beep, 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 beep. It doesn't make that sound, folks, that's just me. But we back him up into here, then we pirouette and slide underneath the sofa bed. That's in the living room section. And that works wonderfully. Can you show them the floor real quick for the lockdown so you see that? Yeah, idea? so we did some Q strength, right? Q strength? Yep, you got it. Uh, lockdown and we worked with uh, Mount Comfort RV to do the flush mount option. So they are as flush as they can be to the floor minimizing uh, any disruption for Todd wheeling around in the cabin and um, for trip Jason. hazards for me because yeah. I would find them every single time and then the front of the RV right now we've got the passenger seat spun around it's a really nice comfortable chair so in the evening I like to sit there and today I was grading papers sitting in that chair it's really nice so here you go, folks. This is the inside of the motorhome. Hey, before she takes uh, outside real quick, uh, JoJo, appreciate you as always reminding me. Folks, you got to smash that subscribe button. All right, make sure you hit the bells. And again, Midnight Oil, make sure you, please click the like button. If you're watching it and you like it, like it. So we all know this is all important stuff. So mad love, mad respect as baby girl shows you the outside. All right, we'll just do one walk around. RV park right now in Nebraska, York, Nebraska. Let's just take a moment to enjoy this sunset, folks. All right. 
look forward to seeing you out on the road.